One of the biggest challenges for organizations is how do they learn from their experience? Many people think that organizational learning is about teaching the workers what they need to know. But I want to suggest that the biggest question is how will organizations figure out at the time that they're making their decisions as to what is leading to success and actually what is leading to failure? I think that's one of the biggest problems which organizations have yet wrestled to the ground. Business is always talking about the virtue of competitiveness. And certainly, everybody's operating in a competitive environment, but that doesn't work out well if the competition is internalized so the divisions are fighting against each other or fight or always trying to be better than the other. There are stages where collaboration has to be made figural. Organizations that know how to both collaborate and compete are the ones that do well. Many people ask me the question of how do you deal with conflict? We have too much conflict. Can we get rid of it? My response to that is, conflict is just central to organizational life. Some are legitimate and some are very, very constructive. Others are easily twisted and turned and become problematic as in organiz typical organizational politics. I'm eager for people to recognize that all creativity contains within it a major piece of conflict. So the question is, can we enable opposite ideas conjoin and generate something new. Conflict is at the heart of all creativity. I'd like to invite you to an executive education program which is focused upon several themes that in my view make the world of difference to the ways in which executives engage in their day-to-day -day life. First of all, we'll focus on organizational learning. We'll be concerned about the ways in which conflict gets managed. We will be addressing the distinction between left and right brain reasoning, especially those things that we often refer to as intuitive versus rational. We'll be looking at the question of managing conflict, especially when it can be turned from being destructive to constructive. And then, of course, the issue of collaborating in a competitive environment, because all co-laboring requires collaborating and yet it always has at its bedrock competition. We look forward to seeing you in Dubai.